What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and one of my longtime favorites for his rocks. And we are here to see who was wrong. Okay, so it messed up on my end because it seemed like it played more than once on my end, but it's okay though. However, it's probably gonna it's probably gonna come out right. It's probably gonna come out right once it's over with. But um, okay, you guys, uh, me and Rox are here to discuss, and it may be a surprise, one of my favorite love triangles of love and hip hop. Yeah, definitely was one for the books, right? <laughs> yes, it was. Tara and Amina, um, for us, Rox picked this one. You I know. See. Everybody picks their own feud, and she chose this one, which was funny because she wanted Candace and Monique. Everybody wanted Candace. Yeah, and Monique. that was precious on our mind, so it's easiest to keep that to get to that one. Right, but mm -hmm. um, we're here to talk about Tara and Amina now. For those of you who are not familiar with it, if you're not familiar with it, you should be. I'm telling you, you should be. But Tara and Amina, they showed up on Love and Hip Hop New York during season four. And it started out with Tara dating, well, not really dating, but being in like this 13-year relationship with rapper Peter Guns. Amina was supposed to be his artist, which is how it was brought to us. And you know, Tara seemed to be, you know, supportive of said artist. But come to find out, said artist was messing around with Tara's man, Peter Guns, who seems to be, at this point, everybody's man. <laughs> <Right. Okay. laughs> hey, everybody. Everybody's man. Now, I know, when I, I know when I first saw it, you know, I was like, so we got another Jocelyn? Like, th this what this is? But a little more, a more milder, like Joss. This is another Mimi and Jocelyn situation. Yeah, it was similar, but uh, Amina, you know, I don't think Amina was just was as she wasn't as street smart as the whole as Jocelyn was. So Amina was very naive in a lot of ways. She, oh my God, very naive. Okay, <laughs> like I can't even imagine. Yeah, but she take the long, she had to take the short bus for real because. <laughs> Just didn't know. She just had no clue. Bless her heart. Period. Okay. Bless it. Bless it. Okay. <laughs> um, so like basically in like the first episode, she pretty much revealed that she was married to Peter Guns. Of course, uh Tara didn't know that she was married to him, but in the very first episode that they were on, she right. showed Rich Dollars her tattoo, which said Mrs. Panky at the back. Right. And pretty much revealed that they were more than just artist oh my man. god i remember that like it was yesterday yes <laughs> oh, when you Good first time. saw that when you first saw that what was your thoughts when you first saw that because i just like i just was i just was actually amazed that um see i actually was more irritated with peter at the beginning uh-huh because i felt like he knew that amina didn't know no damn better and um, he was really the reason because he was lying to everybody. So right. Just sort of like, I mean, she got the tattoo, which was still ambitious because I was like, girl, y'all just got together, you know, and here you walking like around that. with this tattoo already. But I just was like, girl, you have absolutely no idea what you didn't got yourself into. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, girl, like, girl, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. After that, I think Tara started to suspect some things that was going on with Amina. Um, Amina and Peter, like, she was trying to. Oop. I'm sorry, my phone rang. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I think she was trying to call Peter. Um, she wouldn't get an answer. And then there was a picture of Amina and Peter, you know, hooked up in the studio and Peter was trying to explain it away. Right. Tara said that she didn't believe it. Right. And right. It, it continued to go on for a while because he said, 
will you love me? Will you continue to stay with me or something like that? And Tara mm-hmm. said, as long as you don't do anything stupid and come to right. find out you're doing something stupid. Yes. So <laughs> there was just, I think there was a performance that Amina had. And I think that's when she, Tara kind of put the pieces together about um, them Tara. being a little bit more than the, than the yeah, relationship. Peter and Amina before. being more than friends. I mm-hmm. think Rich had told Yandy about it. I think mm-hmm. that's how she found out. Rich told Yandy about it. Yandy, of course, went and told Tara about it. Okay. And Yandy set up that, that that sit down after the show. Tara mm-hmm. came up. Amina was like, well, I'm very happy to see you. And Tara was like, well, what are you happy to see me for? And then, you know, she started saying that she wanted to know what, you wanted to let her know what was going on with her and Peter. And then she was like, I only knew that he had a son, Jameson. I didn't know about Cass until a couple of months later. Right. So then when Tara starts getting, getting heated, like, let's use your basic facts here. <laughs> A man living in the house with a woman that got well, killed. Right. I remember that. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then she was like, do you think that that's just a live-in co- um, situation or do you think it was just immaculate conception and he was just uh-huh. helping out? And I was just like, <laughs> He really had Amina going. He really had Amina thinking something totally different. What's funny about all of that time is Back then on like on the reality shows and love and hip hop or whatever, like this was really happening. Like now it feels so much more scripted. Mm-hmm. But back then it was just sort of like it was like he was watching it play out like in right. real life. Like it didn't feel like reality, you know. It right. Like he was really watching this play out because he was literally playing both of them and telling them something. It was just sort of like, Peter, how long did you think you were gonna be able to get away with this? On TV, you got cameras following you, and you going back and forth, and child, it was a mess. And then another thing that I forgot to mention because every time Amina would ask him, "When are you going to tell Tyra?" he would always mm-hmm. say, "I'm gonna tell her tomorrow." Yeah, I'm gonna tell her tomorrow. I'm gonna tell her tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Just like tomorrow did never come, never came, and never piss her the hell off every time because it would never come. So he okay. So during that argument, Tara said that. She, no, Amina said, do you think, so you really don't think that Peter loves me? And then Tara was like, not really. And then <laughs> she was like, um, I think that it's an outlet. And so that's when Amina do what she loved to do. Oh, oh, you want me to tell you something? I'm an outlet? I'm his mm-hmm. wife. Yeah. There ain't nothing fake about that. And then you got to slap her that across the Boy, boy, boy. I was <laughs> when, that damn, when Tara slapped that girl. That was the best TV. <laughs> oh my God. It was so funny. And she deserved it so much because her whole attitude the whole time that she was there was just sort of like, well, I'm his wife. Okay. Right. Like she was real smug about it. I was just mm-hmm. about to ask you what was in your head at that moment when she gave her the slap. Because the entire time, me, how, how old was I when I came out? I was 24 then. Mm-hmm. So the entire time I'm sitting there looking at it, because I was 20, you see my videos back then. I was 24, mm-hmm. ratchet and loud and all that other crazy stuff. So, you know, <laughs> right. you already know what I was giving back then. Oh, right. Yeah, so I was sitting there watching it. I'm like, is she going to slap her or not? Like, is uh, she going to hit her or not? Like, go yes. on and hit that girl. Like, she being too smug. Hit her, Tara. <laughs> hit her. That's all I kept saying. So she needed, what was she, she thinking? Need, she needed that slap. She needed that slap. Because <laughs> there was so, so many other ways that you guys could have had this conversation. But like you said, she was smug. Like, Very she smug. was like, I won the prize. Okay. Right. You can say you got this with him and the kids and everything, but I'm his wife. And, right, you know, and Tara had already been looking kind of crazy on the show, you know, the last however many episodes because we saw what was happening. But of course, but she did. So it's, it's sort of like the same thing, like when you have a a friend and you know that they they getting cheated on by somebody, and you know it's just sort of like everybody knows, nobody has told that friend. She's had to watch this play out, or you know, learn it as everybody else was seeing it on national TV. Yeah, girl, that slap was coming. <laughs> that slap was coming. And she she needed it. She definitely needed it. So I wasn't and mad it, at all. And I it was something that Tara all. said after the slap. When she told Yandy, she was like, because I watched it this morning. Because mm-hmm. she was like, um, you going to sit up in my face and tell me that you married to a man that I live with? You must want your ass popped. Right. <laughs> like you she must. did. You must. And she really did. <laughs> 
I just don't think that she realized that it was. I mean, she had no idea that that was about to happen. <laughs> right. Dollars, uh, security came rushing in there because Honey Tara was about to get it. She was about to kill that girl. <laughs> I wanted her to. I'm not gonna lie. I really yeah, she wanted needed that it. To her. Yes, it was a perfect build up though because it had been going on too much and. Like you said, Tara was starting to put the pieces together, but it was just like, mm -mm, not like this. Not like exactly. this. She wasn't the wife, but she's been acting as a wife with him, family, house together. But weren't they about to be, it was like a whole bunch of issues that he was having with Tara. Yeah. So that's why I'm sure he, you know, gravitated to, towards Amina, who was probably just like a breath of fresh air because he ain't got no responsibilities with her. You know, right. he have kids. At the time, he didn't have kids. He didn't have, you know, bills. He didn't have to pay rent and all of the stuff. So she was like exactly. a well, exactly. So pretty much after the fight, it was the fallout. It was the fallout of the fight. Like mm -hmm. you know, Peter trying to you know explain himself to Tara and <laughs> trying to make things right, right with Tara and trying to manipulate Tara. That's what he was doing, <laughs> manipulating yeah. her. And it was to the point to where his manipulations was working. Yeah, it did work for a while. It worked. after, mm -hmm. Even after the situation, Tara and Peter continued to sleep around yeah. even after knowing that him and exactly. Amina were right, married. Right, right. And they were in the studio. It was this infamous scene. They was in the studio. Amina and Tara had the same hairdo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I remember that episode. Too. <laughs> and Amina once again being smug, mm -hmm. saying, "Well, he was cheating on you, doing this, doing all of this, and all, and you still stay with him." Like, and I'm just like, she really trying to like she yeah. really fucking she, big shit like. Yeah. She just, so like, first of all, this is Peter we're talking about. So they right. got this big prize, you know. But um, yeah, she she was smug. And like I said, she just really was not street smart. She believed everything that Peter told her. And every time Tara had to come back and tell her, because that's when she told her that she sit on his face whenever she wants. Was that that time? That was that time. <laughs> Yeah, that was that time. That was that you time. know, and then and then Amina always got to be the one looking stupid. Like, is that true, Peter? Is that true? You know, did That's you, Peter? Like did you? Did you? And then he was like, Yeah, yeah. Uh, he couldn't say nothing. He was like, Tara, man. Like he was looking at Tara, like Tara, don't do like, this. Right, right. And she was like, You mean to tell me I'm supposed to sit here and let this bitch be in my face and saying all the things that she said, and I'm not supposed to knock her back a few pegs? I'm not <laughs> So that's what we're doing. <laughs> okay, so with that scene, this is where I saw people kind of turning. Turning around. Mm -hmm. So in my eyes, I never turned because mm -hmm. I was still on Tara's side mm -hmm. because I felt like Amina came in knowing that Tara had been with this man for 13 years mm -hmm. and then she went behind her back and married this same man and then right. tried to keep it a secret and right. so it had been 13 years you know what I mean mm -hmm. and I'm not saying what Tara did was right in that moment but I really didn't care yeah like, I didn't care why why should yeah Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what was so what was your take on it? Because when she did that, I I would see fans like straight up say, you know, make this like Tara, you wrong for this, making it like Amina was the victim at this well, point. Well, I think that it was com it was complex, like you said, because what happened was once Tara, I think people were switching over once people once once Tara knew that he did marry Amina. I think people were feeling like that she needed to just cut it then because, okay, the nigga made his choice, even though it's fucked up, you know, we know that she, you know, had been with him all those years and everything. But if he had made the choice, said that he's married to her, he's already admitted it to her and he's with Amina now, okay, then that means that you just need to leave him alone. So I think people felt like now Tara was kind of like the other woman. But you mm -hmm. know, it wasn't really fair. People have to realize that it's hard for you to just... First of all, I'm sure she was spiteful because she was probably pissed at Amina. So she was like, I'm going... Whenever he come over, if I feel like it, I'm going to do it. You know? Mm -hmm. So it was like her being spiteful. 
But I'm sure she still had feelings for Peter too, because they don't just cut off just because some other bitch coming to, you know, come uh -huh. around. You know? <laughs> so she probably was going through, and ain't no telling what he might have been telling her too. Like, because then once it started to get fucked up with Amina, you know, then he probably was going back to Tara and saying, like, oh, it's not this, it's not that, you know, and it was probably like, well, you should have never been over there. You should have been with me, but. Over you know, it's hard to say, but I mean, I understood why people, but I've always felt at the core, it was, I mean, I felt like Tara, I still was kind of on her side, but then I was just like, but girl, now I can't even feel that sorry for you going to keep on being involved with him. And you know, he's with her now. Right. That's he, true. He's gone. I mean, he's going to keep coming back to you. If you keep on opening the door and opening in your legs, of course he's going to come back. So, right. I get that. I get that wholeheartedly. Even though, like, at the time I was watching it back then, I'm like, I don't care. Tara, do what you do. She did it to you. Do what you do. Yeah, <laughs> but I didn't, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't hard to, you know, it was just sort of like, well, I mean, you know, right. but, but Amina being smug the way she she was, she definitely had it coming. So, you know, every time that Tara had, had to put her in her place, you know, I, I always appreciated it. <laughs> <laughs> so after that, so I guess after that, we could pretty much say by the reunion, Amina revealed that she was pregnant by Peter mm -hmm. at that reunion. You know, she took the piss on the stick out of her bra and let it know that it, it was nothing fake about that. And so we go into season <laughs> So we go into season five. And at this particular point, you know, Peter is still with Amina, but he's still gravitating to Tara. Mm -hmm. Tara is still angry with Peter about yeah. everything that happened between him and Amina. Right. Um, Peter doesn't seem to understand that. <laughs> no, it never, it never, it never, you know, he could never figure out why exactly was everybody so upset about this. Right. He doesn't seem to get it. Uh -huh. Um, this was the season where they went on this family vacation or right, some shit like that. And mm -hmm. Amina gave not Amina, Tara gave her best Tyler Perry emotional dramatic scene yes. you know <laughs> i gotta go back and watch that <laughs> i felt her pain i ain't gonna lie i felt her pain i felt her pain and but so she was always good at expressing herself so you always yeah felt mm -hmm. yeah she was very good at that mm -hmm. and um i think it was a scene where where peter tara and amina was at a restaurant in they was introducing the kids to Amina's new baby, and it was so awkward. Mm -hmm. Tara looked disgusted to hold the damn baby. I was just like, Well, the funny thing was, I never, I, I don't really 100% remember how, well, I do kind of remember. It was just sort of like Tara always felt like she was, I couldn't understand why she was even putting herself through it. I mean, was it trying to be the bigger person and saying, right. I'm going to let the kids, you know, the kids didn't have a choice in this, but she never seemed like she wanted to, like, I guess maybe she wanted to blend the kids, but she still never seemed like she wanted to mix it really with um, Amina all that much. Which, uh, which would be understood. Yeah. But and then it was just sort of like, but well, so why are you doing it? Because like you said, it was awkward. It was like obvious that she really wasn't feeling it. Right. I guess maybe trying to appease Peter, trying to make him feel better. But why try to? But my thing is, why try to make him feel better? I know. He's not but making you feel better at all. <laughs> why were they? Why were they always so? I mean, I guess Peter must be this great guy that both of them just felt like they just had to still be in some sort of contact or relationship because when he after they had the baby was he still with Amina? Yeah. They they had, they, had, they, had, they were still together with that first. Yeah. Okay. They were still together. And he but he was still trying to it's like they were still together but he's still trying to get t back with Tara. Mm -hmm. But you know it's kind of like but 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 with it, getting back with Tara with the idea of leaving Amina or kind of having both. See, of them. that's the part that makes it confusing. We don't know if he wanted to be with Tara and Tara only, mm -hmm. or did he want to be with Tara but still have 
of me in the corner somewhere ready yeah, to come. Because it always somewhere. seemed like he didn't care. Like the cameras would be with him. So it all he would be saying something to Tara and he would be saying something to Amina. It was just sort of like, what is your end game? Like, what is the plan? All I know is that I've I've seen guys like that. They I they do that. I was watching that shit and I'm like, I see my 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 straight male friends, some of them, they do this shit all the time. They do yeah. this all yeah. the time. But but they don't have a camera there. So it's Yeah, like, that's the know? thing. They don't have no camera there. I wish they did. So they uh, right. I wish they did. <laughs> but I think um because season five was very lackluster of Love and Hip Hop New York, so it really wasn't that much to go with mm. by that point. But um we go into season six okay and he moved tara and amina in the same apartment building <laughs> oh my god i remember that i remember that and i'm like y'all still doing what this man say do like yeah it was bad i i felt like both of them self-esteem was so jacked up um, very jacked up by, by the time I think that they had been got ran down so much that they was making some old stupid decisions because I'm not really fixing to be in the apartment. Like, shit happens, and okay, we got this baby, and I get all that. But we're not about to be, like, one big complex of family and, you know, him being there. Was he going to go from apartment to apartment? <laughs> <laughs> go visit them and then come back? Like, no. Period. Like, I'm just like, girl. Yeah, it was weird for them to be in this. And I remember the first episode, I think... Tara told Amina that Peter said that she was a mistake that went too far. That's what she do that. Mm-hmm. She in with her voice when she get mad. Oh, I was a mistake that went too far. Then she slapped him in the face. <laughs> she storms out. Then she said, oh, and by the way, I'm pregnant. Right, 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 right. Yeah. And I'm like, again? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But were they together then? At this point, I don't know if they was together or not at this point. It's because right. he was going from apartment to apartment. So, But they were still married, though. They hadn't mm-hmm, mm-hmm, done anything, mm-hmm. but he was still messing around with both of them. Right, so remember, right, right. Amina aborted the baby. Okay. And then Tara... Ended up getting pregnant. Ended, right? ended up getting pregnant months, you know, episodes I later. Some of competition at that point. Yeah, it's like okay, so I'm, uh, so she gonna have a baby. Well, I'm gonna have a baby. She right, gonna have a baby, right. I'm gonna have a baby. Uh-huh. I'm just like, and so after that, Amina found out that Tyra was pregnant. You had me kill my baby, and she's having your baby. Right, right, right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so then, didn't Amina get pregnant again? And by the reunion, Amina revealed that she was pregnant again yes, because yes. um, who was hosting the reunion? I think at that point, Nina Parker was hosting them at mm-hmm. that point. Mm-hmm. And she was like, so how does it feel, Amina, to know that Tara would be the last woman to have Peter's baby? She said, oh, yes, yes, yes. And she was like, well, I obviously overreacted because she's not the last person that's going to have his baby. baby yeah. Nina was like, Huh? She was like, I'm pregnant. <laughs> yeah, too. They they have provided some good old TV back there, boy. I remember everybody was like, You have got to be kidding me. For and real? that's what that's what Tara was like. You you get rid of one baby and now you're pregnant yeah, again. Uh, uh, I feel like it was a competition. Right. Sort of like I'm not yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm going to have that baby, especially after she had been aborted the other one. Right. I'm just like, girl, does it get that serious? Like, y- y'all are both pregnant at the same time. And right. it's like, what the fuck? It's mm-hmm. like, like, what the fuck are we doing? Mm-hmm. What the fuck are we doing? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this, I said, that, that remind, that's like my mama and my daddy and my stepmom. Because some of us. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold on, Scotty. Uh-huh. <laughs> come back up. Come back up. I'm sorry. No, you good. I was like, this that reminds me of my mom. I said, I said, Mama, that was you and my stepmama, huh? Because some of us <laughs> are just, like your mama <laughs> I've said it all, I've said it before online. She don't care. But because I always tell people on my videos, I'm like, well, you know, four of my cause my dad got six kids, not mm-hmm. including my baby brother, because my baby brother is from my mother's uh last uh marriage with uh-huh. my stepfather uh-huh. but my dad got six kids and his first four we are two of us are the same age sometimes like my <laughs> oldest brother anthony is 
just turned like 34 seven months apart yeah mm -hmm. see my oldest brother anthony he just turned 34 in august I'm turning 34 in February, so we're going to be 34 at the same time. And then my sister Christian and my brother Chris, Chris turned 32 in May, and my sister just turned 32 in, oh, in September, so they're both 32. Yes. So I told my dad, I said, you have two sets of ghetto twins. Right, right. <laughs> so that's why I would always uh, uh, jones my mom with this. I'm like, oh, so um so after that um i think they came back they came back for season seven that was their last season mm -hmm. but at this point it seems as though tara was over the whole notion of right. getting back with peter because she right. had another tyler perry moment but mm -hmm. she said you embarrass mm -hmm. me you humiliate me and i gotta be oh, yes. oh, okay and so in memory Right. <laughs> and so they go back and forth. And Amina said, I moved to LA because you didn't want me. But I wa if you ever wanted me to come back, I will always come back to you, Peter. I'm like, oh my God, yeah. Amina. I, I, I feel like Amina's always been the one that's wanted to be around Peter. Yeah. And I just don't know why. Yeah. I, just, I just don't know why. That's but it. I think after Love and Hip Hop, they all went on marriage boot camp for a season. They went on mm -hmm. marriage boot camp. I didn't watch it. I just saw clips of Tara going off on <laughs> going off on him and stuff. And then they came back for a Love and Hip Hop family reunion, which was a great season, by the mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. um, and they were all getting along. Right. I remember. So it all boils down to the question at hand. Mm -hmm. Who was wrong? In Tyra versus Amina, was it Tyra, was it Amina, or was it a draw? Uh, <laughs> I'm going. I am going to say that it was Amina that was wrong initially. I, mm -hmm. I guess we, if we're trying to say all together, mm -hmm. I think that Amina was still the. Amina was still the most wrong. Like, I'm going to gravitate to Tara's side because Tara was more like a wife to me. So, like, I, I kind of understand, like, um, you know, Tara just being like, this nigga really just went out and found somebody else and did like, so I, I felt like if we was to go all the way to the beginning, yes, I felt like it was Amina because Amina knew that he was with Tara, right? Tara just didn't know about Amina. Yeah. See, I was originally kind of trying to remember how it went. At first, I thought that he didn't tell neither one. I was I was thinking that both of them was in the dark. But then I was like, no, no, Amina knew. Yeah, Amina and knew. And she was kept a secret for is with him until I guess what she was giving him time to break it to her or something. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, I, I I've always felt that Amina was the was the ultimate reason for that but you know you it's hard to say to, in totality and really i feel like peter <laughs> is the ultimate at fault here because he knew everything and he honestly was, this should have been tyra versus amina versus peter that's what right. this should have been because yeah. he was the they one that was wrong all together because he, he was the he one can't be forgotten with the things that he had done confusing both of them you know whether or not they chose to let themselves get confused but right you know he was he was at the very beginning when tar really just didn't know what the hell was going on he was really just telling that girl anything and going back to the house and all of that and then being with amina and like i said amina was stupid you know she don't know <laughs> better you know, so whatever he said, when you don't, you ain't used to being around them kind of Negroes that's going to just lie to you and all that. You know, she was, she was so ill-prepared. Very ill-prepared. You had to learn. But even to this day, I still feel like Amina would like to be with Peter. I think that she still has that place in, Tara, I believe, is just like, I'm over it. Like Right. But I think I still feel like Amina, like if all the cards would line up, I think that she would her and Peter would still be together. And I just I was I, and I'm gonna just say this too before we close. I just felt irritated with people because they were making Amina out to be the victim. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, she's not a victim in this. Like, yeah. I'm and just because you are right? stupid, just because you are stupid in something <laughs> still don't mean that the reality is, is that you married this man. 
You know, you could be naive, but that still don't mean you wasn't wrong. You was wrong. Right. You was naive and wrong. Because you at least know that if you get with somebody that's with somebody else, that you are the side person. You the, you the side chick. Right. You know? And then she took it further and got married. <laughs> you could just be the girlfriend. You had to do all of that. So, <laughs> yeah, Peter, Peter should have been, been Tar versus Amina versus Peter. Right. <clears throat> well, I guess we are in agreement to that because I've always placed the blame to Amina's feet. I don't care what nobody say. I've always yeah. felt like she was wrong. But however, <laughs> thank you, Forest Rocks. Well, I'm not gonna say Forest Rocks. I know you well enough to just yeah. say rocks. Thank you, I know Rocks. You still, yeah. still it's okay. <laughs> thank you, Rocks, for um doing this with me. I really appreciate it. Um uh -huh. I'm gonna uh, I'm speak to you once I press the end thing, okay. but, you know. But uh, thank you for doing this because you know we don't really get to get you out the house to do no collabs like that. So, uh, no, you know. Like, let me just keep. I can't keep telling Scotty no. <laughs> I have to say okay every now and then. No, but, but see, you're no. the only one. No, you're the only one. Yeah, yeah, but, but see. Cause see, I said I had said to someone, I said I really want to get rocks. I told one of my friends, I said I want to mm -hmm. get rocks to do this. They said she don't do lives. I said she doesn't do lives, but this is pre-recorded, so she might be a little bit more comfortable doing yeah. it that way. She, she, Look, she, I'm she, trying to. I am really trying to get out of this. Um, always feeling like I've got to be guarded. Um, it's just, it's just so innate in me. So I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Look, I was like, Scotty, gonna keep. He gonna get it out of me if it kills him. <laughs> Listen, I don't, but you can say I don't just be nagging you with it all no, the time. No, you like it's don't. it's once every blue moon. I'll be like, so rocks, do you want right? Let's, let's see what you feeling like this time. <laughs> I appreciate it. I really do. I really do appreciate it. And I have been very proud of you. I've been seeing all the things you're doing, and I I can tell you have a game plan, and I see it's working. So I'm just so happy for you. All of the success, all of the things that's been happening, it's going to just continue to grow. You know, you just be the right person, be the good person, do what you're supposed to do. And it's, it'll happen. You know, it'll oh happen. Oh, my God. That feels so good hearing that from you, for real. Because mm -hmm. I know, and this ain't got nothing to do with what we're talking about on here. But I just want right. to say this. I always say that when I first started, it was you, it was Ashley, it was Bundy, and I think Kevin. All four of you guys were the main people, like, mm -hmm. supporting me and rallying behind me and just mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. giving me that push. And even when I was, you know, and I forgot, much love from KY as well. Yes. Um, to her. Um, all of you guys were rallying behind me. Y'all were pushing me. Y'all was really seeing Things in mm -hmm. me that I didn't mm -hmm. see in myself, like all the things that I'm doing now, y'all already saw it years right. ago, and I did not see it then, and I'll never right. forget it. I remember you guys did a video for me when I hit 10K, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I remember Ashley saying, I'm so happy that you hit 10K. I mean, you should be way more than 10K, yeah. but right. we'll take it or right. <laughs> something uh -huh. like that. Uh -huh. So when I hear you and Ashley... And Bundy, especially because she was the reason why I did the Miss Wanda interview. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when we did Who Was Wrong a couple of months ago, she got me together after we were done filming. And she was like, I don't know why you are wasting time. You need to go and get that interview. Like, she yeah. already shout, calling yeah. out your name and lives and stuff. Go get that you interview. That. It is definitely in you. Like, it's a calling. Like, you have a gift, you know, and you finally have just accepted it. And are going with it because you used to be so shy. I remember, <laughs> I remember when we would get together out here, like when we had the blackout, but even before we had the blackout and Candy and, and, and Kevin and all of us had got together and we were trying to get you to come and, you <laughs> and I was, and you know, and I had to remember also you were much younger than we were. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm older than everybody, but, um, you know, you were back then, you were really like a baby. I was, <laughs> was in my like, early twenties then. Yes. You know, so, um, it's just been really nice to see because, um, you know, we always talk about being consistent. And I think that even when you were back in your wild and like you said, your ratchet or we'll say whatever days, like you've always still been there consistently. And so it's just, 
you know, it finally comes. And once you get the game plan and just be in your mind, like, okay, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. It's working. It's working. It's been great. It's been, I be trying it's to tell, I be trying to tell the people like the, like the, like the black YouTube community really do love me. Yeah. I, I can say that. Like uh, y'all really uh, do. Uh, yeah. Like y'all always we do. We do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's it, we it's always been um, ups and downs in the YouTube community, but our core group, like, mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, it's just still like family. Like, we still like to see each other win. I still like to see it happen for you guys. And, you know, so, yeah. Yeah, it was to the point, because remember I told you, um, I'm coming to Atlanta next month, and I was trying mm -hmm. to get Bondi to come. I'm not sure she's going to be able to come or not, because she... Cause you even said you had a um a trip. Yeah. In uh, she got, got one too. So mm -hmm. I don't know if she's gonna be able to come. Hopefully she will. But you yeah, know, you know. Yeah. But and you know, me and Ashley, we were supposed to finally meet each other in uh -huh. Chicago, uh -huh. but she had just had surgery on her foot, so we could not hang out. I'm so about it. Yeah. But, you know, it's yeah. gonna happen. When, look, when it happens, when we can all get together, it's gonna be the right time. Yes, I can't wait for it to happen. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. It'll, for it. it'll be the right time. It's just and, um. It's <clears throat> and I'm also gonna say this too before we go. Mm -hmm. When I first, when we first met in person last last year, I was so fucking nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I remember telling Jamar, um, I was like, "Oh my god, I am so nervous. Oh my god!" And he was like, "Why?" I said, "You already met Rox. Like, yeah, me and Rox have been cool all these years and stuff. Always been supportive." Mm -hmm. But I have not seen her in person yet. So this is, I'm going to be starstruck as hell when I see her. You, know, you <laughs> even said so it. Funny. That's you funny. even said it. When we was at the Cheesecake Factory and you say, oh, you're so shy. I did not know you were so shy. Blah, blah, blah. You're blah. so quiet. And I was just like, I never, you know, I never thought that you would be that way. But I had been, you know, even though I had met Jamar beforehand, but he was always very, you know, outgoing and very, you know, he's yeah, see, he's an extrovert pretty much. Yeah, see, I'm an introvert much. extrovert. See, yeah. you know, it, it takes me some time to really, because right. I'm just sitting there like, I cannot believe I'm sitting there. For <laughs> Look, that is so funny. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> I'm going to be like that when I finally see Bondi, too, because we have tried to link up so many times over the years mm -hmm. it just never happens it <laughs> never happens so funny that is too funny and so you never met bondi you never met bondi. i haven't met bondi like i came to new orleans like we we tried to meet up mm -hmm. um twice because i came to new orleans um back in 2015 for my birthday but it was mm -hmm. valentine's day week and she was with lyrics that oh, lyrics okay. week right. and then i came again and i don't even think she was in new orleans that particular time so i'm like uh -huh. god damn like yeah it's hard it's hard to get everything you know linked up together Right, but you know, we all I, I feel like at some point we will all be in the same room again. Yeah, I think so too. I definitely you think. know, and um I can't wait for that to happen. I don't give a damn if it's just for a dinner. Right. You know, that I won't probably I will. will be what it'll be too. Yeah, I wanna see that happen. <laughs> together that way. Especially now that I'm always in Atlanta and I'm mm -hmm. moving there. Look, I'm trying to get you. I'm trying to get you. I'm trying to get you. <laughs> Especially with all your newfound connections. You you need to get on down this way, sir. Yeah, that's that's the plan. That's the plan. You said it. You said it last year. You said it last year. You need to come on down. Come I on down. You. I so. told you. Uh-huh. But, uh, Lord, we're going to make this a family reunion video. For once again, uh, thank you, Rox, for doing this for me. I really appreciate it. And I know that the that the people are going to appreciate it. Yeah, so thank I appreciate you for it. it. And we are out of here, you guys. Until the next one. Bye, y'all.